All right, let's watch Nukes Top 5. It's been a minute. Uh, last time I watched Nukes Top 5 was like a month and a half ago. We watched uh, the scariest TikTok videos of the year. This is the top 20 scariest ghost videos of the year, and it promises to be a banger. So let's go ahead and check it out. I'm excited. YouTube gamer and urban explorer. Bullshit. Anytime there's a YouTuber. Bullshit. Mr. Omega. Mr. Omega often goes on overnight challenges to explore abandoned and spooky places in his country of New Zealand. This time he plans to stay overnight in the deserted Spooner's Tunnel. Oh, that's an old cool. old train pass that was dug out of the mountain by hand back in 1891. Unfortunately, the railway line suffered financial difficulties and the tunnel was never connected to the railway system. The tunnel was eventually closed and dismantled back in 1955. 1,352 meters. This is the longest disused rail tunnel in New Zealand. The passageway was dubbed, quote, the railway to nowhere. YouTuber Mr. Very Omega decides name. that the creepy old abandoned tunnel is the perfect spot to film an overnight challenge. Okay, here we are here. The only person I have with me is Max. You know, man's best friend and everything. Oh man, look at that. There's a vehicle over there that's burnt out too. Oh man, look at it. Hope it's not a popular spot for people to come up and do gosh knows what. What, like you? <laughs> what do you mean, talking about people like you? Okay, before we even go into the tunnel, as you can see, it's totally pitch black. Uh, it's too dark to go in there without any form or source of light. So uh, that's the next thing we need to get out of the pack. Oh, there's my baby. <laughs> this is my massive dolphin torch. Uh, it's a really good torch, as you can see. It pretty much shine right down to the end of the tunnel there, so uh, this thing will do the trick, I'm sure. Okay, I'll just say on a completely serious note, most of the time I'm joking around and stuff, but uh, I would not take a dog into this place, into an abandoned tunnel that's been closed to the public. I would not take a dog in there. I managed to secure myself a place to uh, stay for the night, and as you can see, out here, it is totally dark now, it's, the sun's gone right down, there's no more light left. If I turn my light off, now this, this is the freaky thing. When I turn this light off, it is totally pitch black and silent. You ready? Here we go. Wow. That is just, that's spoopy. Please don't say spoopy. I don't know, am I, am I the only one that gets kind of, like, I just kind of cringe whenever I hear the word spoopy? Maybe I'm just being, maybe I'm being harsh because he brought his dog in and I don't like that. Having the dog here, where are you, Max? Max, there you are, there he is. I feel better having my dog with me. I mean, obviously, if I didn't have Max, it'd be a little bit creepy. Obviously, I feel, like, safer with my dog uh, being here. He will always bark if anyone comes uninvited to uh, visit us in the night. So I'll always wake up. I'm a light sleeper as well, so I'm always going to wake up to hearing Max's bark. Don't know, Max. I'm always going to hear what you're going to say. Around 4 a.m., things start to get really weird. Omega discovers that he has no cell reception inside the tunnel. Yeah, no shit. <laughs> Are you serious? A startling discovery. Yeah, no shit you don't have cell reception. What were they tunneling under? Just like hundreds of feet of earth? Yeah, cell signal doesn't go through that. And so along with Dog Max, he heads back to the opening to check his phone. After that, he starts to trek back inside the tunnel. And then this happens. Uh-huh. We're gonna complete our overnight challenge. Yes, yes we do. All right, Max, let's go back in. Here it is. Woo! Max! Oh, my gosh, damn trouble. <laughs> I hear some sort of chew now. Max, come here. Come okay. Here. <laughs> Max, come here. He really tried to sound really bothered. Just then. Dude, I, for a second I was like, is Max missing? Yeah, good thing this is fake. Otherwise I'd be upset right now. What the action? Can you guys, can you guys hear that? <sighs> Max, where is it? I don't know if you guys can hear this on the camera, but there's something, what is that? <sighs> if it's a sound you're tracking down, I can't hear it. 
over uh, the epidemic sound soundtrack that Nuke has like pumped in at full volume overhead. So no, I can't hear it. What the? Hello? Oh my god, oh my god. What is that? Max, what is that? Hello? It's a toy, is somebody dude. Here? There's no possible explanation. This is creepy as what the hell? Is anyone here? What is that? What? A creepy little toy is just lying in the middle of the path, playing a warbly rendition of Happy Birthday. Omega turns around and is shocked out of his skin as he sees a man lurching toward him out of- Lurching? It's like a cardboard cutout. Oh wait, oh there's- Oh, I see. There's like a little crevice there. I thought he was like against the wall. He doesn't move. Where, where do you get this like the man was lurching at him? I just watched him from beginning to end. He doesn't move. It doesn't move at all. I thought it was just a cardboard cutout at first and it might- it might be a cardboard cutout, honestly. I can't even get a good look at it. Now, Mr. Omega says that he is absolutely stunned by what happened. Stunned. He has no idea why anyone would be hiding in the cold abandoned train tunnel at 4 a.m., especially because the tunnel is in the middle of nowhere. Now, the thing is, is that you're in that tunnel too. I like how his reaction is like, why would anyone be here? Bro, you're there. Another truly baffling part of this incident is that the dog Max did not react at all to the creepy stranger. Almost like the man was not even there. Okay, I'm not trying to insult Max right now. Max is a very good boy, okay? We love Max. We would give him pets and no kishes if we could. But how good of a guard dog is he? Because there's plenty of dogs that are completely oblivious. Trust me, I have had some of them. They're not what you would call uh, super vigilant guard dogs. And I can see them being in the tunnel with me and not knowing that anyone else was there. Uh, so I think that's, I mean, the, the person didn't move. So my first in, like instinct is to say it's a cardboard cutout or something. Even if it was somebody, it's, you know, it could be somebody squatting. It could be somebody messing with people like you coming to the tunnel. You know, they they might have they might have seen your your car outside and decide to play a little prank cuz you parked right outside the tunnel. And perhaps most disturbing of all, why did whoever this was set out a creepy little toy in the path? Either way, paranormal or not, this encounter is absolutely terrifying. No, it's not. If it's not paranormal, it's not terrifying. The Weeper. A Here little we go. over a year ago, a Japanese man who goes by the name Yama Q was looking for a rental home. He found a nice 40 year old renovated house in Japan with an incredibly low rental price. Yama was blown away and he happily signed the rental contract right away. But as you might suspect, Yama soon discovered just why the house's rental price was so low. Oh no! You see, the home carries a bit of a dark history. The house's previous owner tragically passed away inside the home's bathroom from an undisclosed illness. Only four months after Yama moves in, strange things begin to happen in the dead of night. Edited for time, okay. So if there are any cuts, we should ignore them, I guess. Right like that. Oh no, a door opening. No possible explanation for that. Okay, you're walking right past the person with the fishing line. Yama Q starts a YouTube channel and begins to record the increasingly spooky activity around his home. Uh huh. No. Okay, what are you doing?
What are you, why are you going in this way? Okay. Why does it stop when he goes in the door? It's a creepy toilet ghost that likes making sounds, but not if you go in the front door. It's not a big fan of that, okay? You can you can lower your camera in through the window. It's fine with that, but going through the, ah, it wants its privacy. If you'll excuse me. A mysterious knocking sound can be heard coming from the bathroom. No matter how hard he tries, Yamakyu is never able to find the source. He has no idea what could be causing this terrifying phenomenon. The thing is, though, is that we're not able to actually get close to the toilet while it's making the sound. I can't help but notice. It might also just be the plumbing. This is like an older place, which it looks like it might be. You know, sometimes I, I hear the pipes make all sorts of noises. The neighborhood dog shows up at his home. The dog is usually quiet and friendly, but this time it seems distressed by something. My man, this is just a stray dog. What do you mean the dog's usually quiet and friendly? There's no, it's not, it's not leashed anywhere, is it? Oh no, it is. Yes, Do dogs tend to bark at night. They think they hear something or see something in the darkness. It happens. The dog the aggressively time. growls and barks at something Yama can't see. The next day, he finds the dog back at its neighborhood home, safe and sound and friendly as always. Yeah, because it's the daytime. <laughs> it's the daytime. Maybe the dog's eyesight ain't so good anymore. But that certainly isn't the end of Yama Q's paranormal problems. Oh my goodness. Only nine months after moving in, he experiences something truly terrifying. Oh, no, we haven't seen anything yet. Here we go. blood-curdling wail can be heard coming from right outside Yama's living room window. But when he goes outside to investigate, the creepy moaning suddenly just stops. As Yama Q's YouTube audience grows, his many shocked viewers request that he get better equipment to capture the supernatural phenomena. Yama orders a thermal imaging camera. Oh, not the thermal imaging. I hate it when they do this. And this is where things take a turn towards the truly bizarre. Because one month later, this happens. Okay. Okay, just uh, just give me th my thoughts so far. Just judging from the toilet clip and this clip, it kind of seems like they've set up a way for there to be like, I don't know, a little tape recorder playing a sound somewhere. Uh, and they plant it, you know, behind the toilet, even in the tank, maybe, right? Uh, outside by the fence. And then they, you know, it has a certain like amount of time that it plays and then of course they know like how many times it makes the sound or how many times it, it may, does the voice and then they pace the recording to match it that's my first thought that's how i would do this <laughs> What are you doing? What are you doing? Oh 
Oh my god, this ghost is so annoying. Is anyone else getting the shit annoyed out of them from this guy? <laughs> Am I supposed to be... With two cameras ready, Yama goes on the attack as he what? throws boiling hot water at the spot where the weeping voice seems to be coming from. I can't really blame the guy. I think I'd be throwing boiling hot water at that thing too. It's like, quit your whining, okay? You're already dead. What do you got to complain about? Shut up. <laughs> Whatever is making the noise seems to cry out as the scalding water is thrown, and then all goes quiet. Okay, so we're not, because I, I, I kept looking at the thermal imaging camera. I, I really think he's just, he's got a recording out there that's playing, and he's pacing the, the, his reaction to the recording. I mean, it's not a bad idea, right, to like do a recording of you or your friend being like, ah, 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 right, and then you know exactly, like, okay, it's 43 seconds long, and then you time it out, right? You know, you spend three seconds looking outside. You spend another three seconds getting the boiling water ready. Cause he just kind of waited around a lot towards the end there, where I was just like, what are you doing? You, you guys in chat were reacting to like, was he gonna throw the boiling water at the ghost? Like, what's he doing, right? And it's like, he was waiting until it started going like, ah, 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 and then he was gonna throw the boiling water because he knew it was about to end. Cause that's it changing at the end is his signal that like the recording's about to end, so. Time for you to throw the water. I also don't like this idea that just like someone dies at their home and then like they're automatically a ghost. Like, <laughs> it doesn't sound like they died in a traumatic way. They died at home from an undisclosed illness. Like, millions of people die that way. How come this one's a ghost? I mean, that one was at least interesting, I will say. That one, I would say the way that I would do it is like I said, the recording thing. Um, I don't know if it's like a tape recorder. It sounded kind of, it sounded too high quality to be a tape recorder because we didn't hear, it's gotta be digital because we didn't hear any like, uh, tape noises that you generally hear. So it must have been some kind of digital audio uh, player of some kind. Um, and then I would just pace out me reacting to it to where it would just like suddenly end right as I did something. Cause it's pretty, it's pretty impressive to do it that way. This next viral video was shared by multiple social media accounts on the internet, but none of them mentioned the original source. The video shows a man inspecting an old abandoned bus somewhere in the rural countryside of Japan. Of course, as you might expect, things take a terrifying turn. <sighs> oh, I've seen this one. I've seen this one. Nuke, you've got two watermarks here. You've got this one and you've got this one. What are you so paranoid about? As the man approaches the entrance to the bus, a girl can be seen watching him from the window. Oh my God. He quickly looks inside, but there's no one there. Now, because there's no source, it's impossible to say whether this footage is real or fake. It's impossible to say. Impossible. It's fake. No, 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 no. Didn't you hear me? It's impossible to decide. Okay, so you know what we're doing, right? Mistaken. You know what we're doing. We're gonna slow it down. Now, the thing is, is that when you're moving like this, Nope, there it is right there. That's it. It's almost a believable cut because it's like, if you look at the direction, if you look at the motion of the camera, right? It's like horizontal. And then right here, it goes down for some reason, right? But it's, it's too, it's too quick. See like that to that, that to that makes sense. Cause like, if you look at, if you look at um, the stuff in the background, it lines up pretty well. But this, I would say, this is too much of a, of a pop right there. So basically what they did was they recorded and they, and they went, oh, 
they did that, right? And then they, they probably kept their feet in the same place and they tried to go back to the exact same place. They had the girl move and then they did it again. And then they just spliced it together. But I'm, I'm, I'm pretty sure that that's where it is. Yeah. Okay. Um, I'm just going to say, keep in mind, I've been like editing video and slowing it down for like 10 years, just my own videos and stuff. And sometimes you have to make really, like, really precise cuts and things like that. So sometimes it's slow down video. I I'll just say just from seeing it in motion, I could see, I could see the cut right there, but it is good. It's better than what we usually see. It's like, it's like, there's a, there's a moment where like, it's a, li it's a little jarring. Yeah. Yeah. It's not quite smooth all the way through. So yeah, pretty good actually, but yeah, still fake. <laughs> Cradle Creeper. Okay, here we go. Proud parents, Kaylee and Stuart have a TikTok account dedicated to their newborn daughter, Ren May. The account usually chronicles happy experiences from the young family's life. So when this next video was posted, their viewers were shocked. What I want to know is how many slice of life TikToks did they post before the creepy one? Okay, baby in the bassinet. What am I looking at? Oh my god. Night vision cameras first capture a bizarre unexplained shadow in the upper left corner of the room. Then what seems like a creepy little hand can be seen clawing at little Ren May's crib mattress. But then it doesn't end up doing anything. It is, and then that's it. The newborn sleeps right through it, but Dad Stewart hears the noise and wakes up. And just as Stewart looks over at the crib, the hand quickly you, disappears out of sight. Uh, did you really have a friend underneath your baby's crib and put their little fingers out like that? Did you really do that? Parents Kaylee and Stewart are very disturbed by the incident and say that they have no idea what they captured on camera. Interesting. I see. You know what I want to see right now? What was that? Ren May M? Was that it? Couldn't find this account. Oh. Doesn't exist anymore. I think somebody said earlier that one of the other TikTok channels is also no longer around. Very interesting. Because I, what I wanted to see, the reason I was looking at the channel is I want to see how many like family vlogs they posted before this video. Because if it was like three or something, like get... Pfft. But if they posted like a year's worth of vlogs or something like that, that would be different. Parents Kaylee and Stuart are very disturbed by the incident. Very they disturbed. They have no idea what they captured on camera. I know what you captured on camera. You captured your weirdo friend's hand underneath your baby crib that you guys set up for some weird reason. I have no idea why people do this. If you're looking for clout, if you're looking for internet traffic, let me tell you someone who's had a lot of it, just just stick to your day job, okay? You don't want to you don't want the internet's attention, okay? Just stick to what you're doing, okay? You've got a beautiful family, just focus on Focus on raising them and, and having a nice time together, okay? You don't need internet clout on top of it. You don't need strangers on your TikTok as, as in addition to that. Just enjoy, enjoy the normal life, okay? Now, most of the time we think of creepy paranormal video as occurring in the dark and maybe in creepy old abandoned places. Ooh. But here's a video that's from a live daytime heavy metal music festival in San Bernardino, California in 2011. Oh, this is interesting. And just watch very closely because it's about to get weird. Is this Machine Head? I saw Rob Flynn earlier. Yeah. 
So a very big guy goes charging into the mosh pit when suddenly he seems to get clotheslined by someone or something he slept. that is completely invisible. He slipped. It's a new technique, bro. It's a new dance technique. Backwards again by some unseen force. He I mean, he's just... He I see, I, I watch basketball. I see this exact move in the NBA every game. LeBron is a master of it. He's flopping. He's flopping. That's all that's happening. He even seems to get dragged backwards along the ground. Ref. We got ourselves a foul right here. So is this just the ghost of an angry metal fan? Is this guy just an incredible mime? Or an inc what? An incredible mime. Let's not give him too much credit here. Also, to be fair, uh, this guy right here is like blocking most of it. So we don't get to see most of the artful Dodgers moves over here. That's number 10 of the top 20 scariest ghost videos of the year is a guy falling down at a metal concert. Come on. <laughs> As with most Japanese videos, I have no idea what the source is for this next creepy clip. The clip shows two guys approaching an old school building that is under renovation and is allegedly haunted. Even though there's tape at the entrance saying no entry, the two friends step inside anyway. What happens next is absolutely terrifying. I'm ready, Nuke. I'm ready. For the absolutely terrifying. Well <laughs> I, thought, I, thought, I thought that guy was the ghost. <laughs> oh, they're, these jokesters, they're just joking around having fun. Ooh. Okay. The preamble is a little long. So the, I, I'm guessing it happens in this room because they've been just like they've been they've been blazing through all the all the other rooms, just like, oh, stairs, oh, that room, oh, whatever. And then they get here and they're just like, I mean, is that a traffic call right there? What's up with these sticks right here? Oh, but before they were just like, all right, let's go inside. Let's go through this door. Let's go through that door. Let's go up the stairs. Let's go in this room. Let's go in that. And then all of a sudden they slow down here. So I'm guessing something's going to happen. Oh, there it is. <laughs> A mysterious woman wearing a white dress silently approaches the two friends from the darkness. She seems to have no visible arms. The two guys run in fear and scream for help. What happens next, we'll just never know. And whether the footage is real or not, that's up for you to decide. Oh, wait, what is this supposed to show us? We've brightened the we've brightened the footage. I guess it's, I guess they've turned the gamma all the way up, right? Like Oh no, this is photo negative, my bad. I mean, yeah, it kind of looks like uh, your friends wearing a dress and they put their arms in the dress, right? So you can't see them. I think my big takeaway from that is that, like I said, they speed ran like 90% of the house and then they got to that room and then they were just like, hey, what's up with these yellow and black sticks right here? Oh, I don't know, man, I don't work in construction. I wouldn't know anything about what those sticks are. Hey, is this a traffic cone? What's taking so long? We're stalling as much as we can. For over a decade, Jim Barari worked hard to find the perfect home for her wife, Heather, and their six-year-old daughter, Ray. She eventually found an amazing colonial home in Pennsylvania that was built in the 1700s. The house sits on a 50-acre plot of farmland that also has a large renovated barn and two cottages. But soon after the renovations were finished, Strange, unexplained events begin to occur on the property. 
The family began to hear terrifying noises and bangs, and even started to see odd shadow-like figures in the middle of the night. Oh no. They decide to install security cameras in and around their home. And late one night, their outdoor security camera captures something chilling. Mm -hmm. What am I, what are you, what are you even pointing at, dude? Yes, there's a, there's a mysterious group of moving pixels right here. Someone or something can be seen limping along behind Jen's home. Whatever it is, it makes a very eerie and unsettling moan or screech. At first, Jen isn't sure what to believe and hopes it's just one of her friends or neighbors playing a very strange prank. The sound, I would say, is an injured animal. Sounded cat-like to me. And, you know, out where they are, it could be... Could be bobcat, could just be a strange cat. Some kind of like thing like that. We only heard it for like an instant. Cats can sound real creepy, uh, especially when they're injured or they're making some kind of sound, a kind of distraught sound like that. Three months. I mean... Belle, our dog, can sound very strange when she when she starts whining or, or yelping or something. We don't hear it often, but when it happens, it can sound like, what, what is that? <laughs> the activity becomes more and more unexplainable as the events intensify. More unexplainable? How's that possible? And now whatever is going on seems to start to affect her daughter, too. I know that is not moving right now. Don't even. Oh my God. Oh. Yeah, like I'm sorry that I curse and. Okay. Okay, can you stop? Oh my God. It's literally somebody on the white light switch being like. How did you know to objects move around and fall on their own and Jen finds her daughter standing on her bed in the middle of the night just staring vacantly at nothing well why were you there if she was just standing there staring vacantly at nothing how did you know to come in and pick her up she records another video to tell about the unexplainable events that she is experiencing what happens next is absolutely terrifying. Absolutely terrifying. The last two nights have been fucking awful. I'm gonna just update you guys really quickly. Um, I'm in the barn house right now. I'm here alone. I'm hearing constantly. Last night I watched like a bald man walk out of the fucking pond. I'll show you where it is. You watched a bald man walk out of the pond. Oh. It was fucking insane. That's what I keep hearing. And I'm home alone. Hello? Uh huh. Look at this house, man. Rich people problems. They're too bored. They're too bored. They gotta. They gotta entertain themselves somehow. Can you stop? The f out. This is a nice house. This isn't even the main house. This is the barn house. Did you hear that? This is the second house. I don't know. And my reflection's creeping out. Jesus Christ. So you just happened to mention the reflection, and that just so happens to be where the thing appears. Jesus Christ. You guys saw that, right? I'm not bugging. Like, here's my reflection. <laughs> you guys saw that, right? No cap. <laughs> No camp skull emoji. You guys saw that, right? My reflection's creeping out. 
Jesus Christ. <laughs> of course, we've got we've got such a narrow view. Here's the thing. Here's the thing that that gets me about this part right here. So so the ghost is behind her right shoulder, right? So you would think that she would turn to the right to capture it. However, notice which direction she turns. It's to the left. She turns to the left. Every and and this is something I see with a lot of these ghost videos. They'll they'll something will be on one side of them and they'll turn the opposite way so as not to show their accomplice. <laughs> Guys, I wanted to show you the f***ing pond, but please tell me you see that. See what? Or something. It looks like the old man is coming out, I swear to f***ing God, what the f*** was that? <laughs> She's the sinner's... <laughs> She's got high energy, I'll give her that. She's very entertaining. She's really selling it. Can you please replace the smoke detector batteries? This is so f***ing creepy. I mean, it's obviously not that creepy mm. because you're still here. You haven't booked a hotel yet. So it's not that bad. Oh my God, it's, it's okay. It's okay, holy sh What the f Honestly. What, you, you're making me sick. She's like, she's like going, flip it out. Going 360 with this shit. I can't keep up. But, well, what the Jesus Christ? I'm, no cap. No cap. No cap. I'm not bugging. How many cars are in this garage? Okay, let's go. A shadow figure can be seen standing behind Jen in the reflection on the TV screen. She quickly spins around, but there's no one there. She quickly spins around the wrong direction. Nu Nuke's got her covered. He's like, she quickly spins around, but there's no one there. Trying to show like, she did everything she could, guys, but she just, she couldn't, she was unable to uh, show the shadow figure behind her. Yeah, she's looking, she's supposedly looking out the window at the pond, which by the way, if she wanted us to get a good look at the pond, why doesn't she open the window? It'd be one motion to open the window. If there's no window there, then there's no reflection. So we gotta have the window closed, see? So we can see the reflection. So what do you think is going on at Jen's farm in Pennsylvania? Boredom. Jen explains that she is currently seeking help from paranormal professionals as she can't move out and wants her family to be safe. You can watch all of Jen's paranormal experiences over on her TikTok page, Jay Barari. Oh, I'm sure I can. No. I'm sure I can. Those views though, those views, I saw some of those views. Some millions in there, nice. It's all in good fun, right? But it's just, it's just funny. It's just funny. It's like, just so happened to be filming when the things are behind you, just so happened to be turning the wrong way. It's like, it's like every, every just so happened tick mark adds up after a while and you're like, okay, this is bullshit, right? I even if I'm not gonna sit there and, and like slow the video down, like where's the cut? You know, you don't, often you don't need to do that because it's just like, it's just so many coincidences happen to line up. Her daughter's standing up, not making any sounds. And she just, in the middle of the night, she just so happens to go in and something's wrong. She can just, I guess the motherly sense was going off, right? Uh, but it's fun, it's fun, I like that one. Lee from the YouTube channel Really Haunted lives in a house in England that seems to be a hotspot of paranormal activity. It's fake. 